We have seen that certain stages of the volcanic eruption in the crater that forms around the eruption site, some smoke rising. We have seen it uh, in this uh, K1 crater in the latest Sundunka eruption. Uh, we, before that, we have seen it in the Little Quarter volcano, in the also uh, Fagadestro. You must have a complete rim around the crater just to have this. And I will show you why probably this is happening like that. The smoke is rising. I'm speeding it up. You can see the flow of the um, magma underneath lava, I should say, and the eruption on the top also. So practically, it is related to what is erupting and what is flowing. And I will go for a zoom. You can see on that. You can see the actual the hot material under it in that hole. That is practically the lava cannot rise through it, but the gases which are a part of the lava can come through it. So this is related to the flow of the lava. This is what we call as a lava tube. In this setting, you need a spillover of the material from within the crater, forming a hard crust by overspilling. And when it overspills, the hard crust forms through that cavity that is created when the uh, liquid part of the lava is passed. The cavity is a conduit for the uh, lava itself when it is solidified over it forming a crust. So you end up with a, a tunnel, a small tunnel maybe, uh, which is smoke can go through it, but no lava can go through that. So practically what you will see is the smoke. It may collapse at one uh, uh, time, but it may be rebuilt again. It will not be a major collapse, it's just a small collapse, the lava tube breaks, until again the spillover continues, creates a crust over it, the lava flows within, and creates a lava tube.